Hi guys, it's Karis. Welcome back to my channel. My voice. I got so much better, isn't it? If you watch my previous video, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, this is what I got better. Anywho, today's video, I'm going to share the luxury items that I was very, very excited to get and yeah, loved at first, but then I realized I have never even worn or used once. <laughs> These I've had for some many years, some, um, none of them are actually new, newly bought. So I am actually really embarrassed. My plan was not to make this video, but I was going to make most used and least used handbags. Uh, I might do that soon, but I started to look around in my closet. I saw many that I never even weren't outside of my house. Yes, one or two. I took pictures, very, very pretty and Instagrammable, like picture perfect type of bags and items, but I never were in real life. It's all about choice, right? So I'll share why I chose that at that time and if I can go back to that time, would I choose the same one or it could be different? And if I could choose now, which one would I pick out of different options that are similar? Alrighty, so let me begin with the one that I think is the most pretty out of everything that I brought right here and just so sad about. I still love, I mean these, all of them, I still love and I love to have them in my closet but I believe uh, many or pretty much all, I will have to let them go sooner or later because I don't really see myself wearing, especially this one, how pretty and this was limited edition and when I look at this handbag, I'm like, oh, so, so nice very very special with the dusty finish and very interesting it is one of a kind for sure from lv love that mother of pearl plaque with gold finish that combination you guys all know i always love that was another big reason why i got this handbag and this was also featured in emily in paris that was after I got this handbag. So I was like, ooh, I have the same one. I could possibly wear in the future. <laughs> Most of them are pretty much everything. It's like, I could say that too. So I had to mention this in this video as I have never wore this handbag, but it's so stinking cute. And I just love, it has beautiful, like goldy, yellowy undertone. And on top of it, it's like a dusted over brand new. <laughs> yes, it's just so nice. And also it comes with, with the beautiful chain that you can clip on on the side. And I, I see uh, you guys commenting, Karis, you have many bags, so competing each other. That's why you didn't wear it. That is not true because when I buy something, I make sure I wear them. If I don't, years later, I'll let them go to another home so they can be used. What's the purpose of having? Okay, I brought the two that I wear the most or wore the most from my Capucins collection. The white one, it's just easy peasy, goes with everything. And you guys know how much I love white bags. So this was just no brainer. Very cute and again, goes with everything white. And this oh, pop of color and you guys know I love red and this handbag is just the cutest and also most gorgeous scarlet red color is true red. There's some bags that is not easy to match with certain outfit, certain style of it or not just the color but style of the bag. But this is so easy to just go with anything actually. I'll say more formal than casual, but even casual outfit, 
you can rock this handbag this one especially white it's just both ways very easy to match and they look good with things i wear but also with my skin tone white color love and red always i love but then when this handbag it looks so nice i love it when i look at it i'm like oh it's so unique different i have nothing like this like there's a lot of like compliments it comes out when i see it like this but then once i have outfit on that i think it's gonna go well and then holding it and see myself through the mirror i'm like mm, no <laughs> And I just put it back and switch out maybe this one or just different one. Do you know what I'm saying? You would think that it looks good, really nice with the white color that I'm wearing. White jacket, white insides, and white goes with everything, right? But then hmm, something is missing. The clothing. I choose the one that makes me look taller and slimmer. When I choose accessories, shoes, handbags, or jewelry, they have to bring my outfit to another level. Like whatever that elevates the look, that's what I normally go for. So for this handbag, by self, elevates <laughs> by self. But then when I have it on, it does not elevate my look. This gives that nice, happy energy to my outfit white color so clean and just feminine and beautiful this combination this combination looks yes 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 i say but when i have this on like here washes me off if you have this handbag gorgeous gorgeous love it so much but just yeah i'm just being very honest here I'm like that handbag is just so nice i love it i would love to have it in my collection but then actually i've never even thought of selling it never until today <laughs> i'm like why i don't wear it i don't know but i don't wear it and i don't even think of wearing after trying many times so what's the point of having i guess right anyways next let's talk about shoes and from chanel Oh my goodness, these were very popular and also very, very cute, nice looking, beautiful CC on the back there and it looks comfortable also, right? But then, I love these so, so much more. I'm like, why, Karis? Why do I wear these so much? And these I've never even worn. This became very, very popular at Dior. And I think Chanel, I wouldn't say copied, but uh, these came out after these for sure. I remember that. And after getting these, I was like loving so much. And of course I love the brand Chanel. So when I saw these coming out, I was like, oh, I'll love them just like these. So I'll have another one from Chanel. So if I'm wearing Chanel handbag or Chanel something Chanel, I normally like to stick to one brand, pretty much anything that I'm wearing. When I saw these, I was like, oh, I want to get them so I can wear them with Chanel handbag. I was excited. But then these are uncomfortable, first of all. Maybe I could just wear them more and more or wear them at home with socks on and I could maybe get over with. But then these on the back here, I don't know. If you have these shoes, please let me know how they become comfortable. This on the back, it's quite high up. It touches like I can't walk <laughs> so I tried but I can't wear these I love that little tag here Chanel sign and the lace Chanel everywhere and inside it's really cute also the bag even it says Chanel as well there's CC here very very clean right because I never wore that the difference I would say is that this is like off-white I'll say these match more with different color tone. 
these are stark white like super white i find stark white shoes quite difficult to wear with different outfits and these look so cute worn very cute and it looks amazing with skirt dress shorts jeans anything love the look and also very very comfortable i love chanel sneakers not these like skinny type but bulky type they're very very comfortable but these are not sadly and also these are really really thick like so thick of the leather it's gonna be very hard to break in made with thick leather whereas these the lining inside is leather very soft the outside is fabric flexible and comfortable very nice on quality of the shoes from chanel dior they're both really lovely but personally i think dior cares more about comfort and every single dior shoes i own they're all very very comfortable and thoughtfully made and the even high heels they're not so tall of course you can choose the tallest one but for me normally i go with either 70 millimeter or even like tallest will be 90 so i can wear them longer time and you're getting older right so i just believe in shorter the better um anyways dior just knows how to make comfortable yet timeless shoes chanel i like their handbags right more than their shoes even though i do have quite a bit of chanel shoes i end up always going with dior when i'm sick of wearing same thing then i go with chanel shoes these are really uncomfortable so like thick and hard maybe you could say made really well or put a lot of leather on here but when the shoes are not comfortable especially sneakers i'm like yeah and they look very very similar it's just totally different okay let me talk about another shoes that these manolo blani how cute how cute these were on sale and i was so happy to get them um and not so tall yes these are comfortable enough for me to wear maybe hours i've never worn outside as you can see stark brand new right but they don't look as flattering and I should know better before I purchase, but of course the sale sign, it just, you know, blinds your eyes and just go for it. It's like the thick veil there that, okay, I think I'll wear them. And these are them. Very cute, right? But on, they're not that flattering. Because of this thick belt right here in the middle of it, it cuts off. I brought these that I talked about many years ago, I believe, to these Manolo Blani. You see the similarity there, that belt, like thick right here. So it is, of course, my personal opinion. Having the thick of that leather in the middle part of your feet does not flatter the look, whatever you wear, if you're wearing shorts or skirt like mini skirt your legs won't look as long as if you're wearing without these if you have the thin strap right here that's gonna look totally different without this and having this little one it will elongate your legs and it will flatter your overall look whereas this having that right in the middle of it it cuts off the way how your feet looks and also the whole look of your legs just not so flattering that's just my opinion and you're like why did you get that like okay these were on sale and also i thought they looked really really cute and i just imagined wearing like midi length skirt with it like if you imagine it looks really cute right but then when you wear that they don't look good <laughs> that's how i figure after and the 
yellow color it's just so so pretty it's like sunshine and these are so comfy not so tall and it hugs your feet and very supportive and i still love love them <laughs> love is different than you actually wear them because never wore i want to wear them so every time i try i'm like why these make my make me look short <laughs> and also not so easy actually wearing yellow color shoes let me finish up with yellow tone here these from Hermes very very popular I've had these for many years but look <laughs> never even worn like once I thought these are so cute and when I tried them at the store, I loved. But then coming back home, like all that cream or the excitement went down, right? And I wear these to match with certain outfit. Oh my goodness, these look ugly, guys. I am seriously telling you, these look ugly. If you are looking for like something, if you want to buy anything at Hermes, just want to build up the relationship or have some kind of purchases, maybe these are nice one to have. But I'll thousand percent recommend you to go with orange sandals if the color is available in your size because orange sandals have the shape that elongate your legs and also shapes your legs. Your feet look so bulky and big and thick and ugly. <laughs> yes trust me try them on without being so excited or um i don't know this is about maybe just me i'm like i know i shop quite a lot right but then once i go there a lot of things look more prettier nicer than it is i need to learn how to calm down before i go shopping i guess these were pretty much the first batch or first shipment, first shipment of the leather version of these sandals before they had rubbery ones are gonna be nice to have when you go swimming or go to the beach because you can't wash them off rubbery right but these are made with leather so i was very excited to get the leather version for the first like and when you look at them very very nice with different colorway they match so well nothing crazy or strange so cute isn't it but then once you have them on oh my goodness they look ugly They're not flattering at all like i was talking about they supposed to elevate your look not to underdo it you know what i'm saying that these i recommend thousand percent like <laughs> so dirty i know i wear them so much i wouldn't say they're comfortable but they look good they elongate your legs and also slimming these just they don't do anything better for the look if you've been interested in this particular shoes from Hermes and if you are the same size as me 37 brand spanking new you can email me to lvloverscc at yahoo.com alrighty let me talk about this bag Ta-da! Christian Dior booked up very very popular i think now it has gone a bit down but they have mini size which is so cute i think mini size will be so much better for this type of loud logo-y handbag i think that's why i have never worn and actually this is brand new because if you watch that unboxing video of this not long ago actually i've had the same bag for years and then i found the glue dark espresso like brownish color each corner had one of you asking to check because hers had an issue no i don't think so i've never even worn <laughs> and i went back and checked and oh i saw the glue there and i was like oh my goodness I didn't know, but I don't think they're gonna do anything about it because I've had it for many years. And I just contacted my SA. Actually, I asked the SA who I met in Atlanta. She said, maybe you can bring it in, but then I never had a chance to bring it in. When I went to Hawaii, lovely SA 
Cody, while we were just talking about other things, I just mentioned about glue. She told me to just ship it to her after I get back home. And I was like, really? I've had it for years, you know? And she said, oh, we will see what we can do. And I sent it to her and bam, look at this. It's brand new. I mean, it's not like they fixed it, the one that I had, but they took it and they sent me right away the brand new they had in the store. So yeah, I haven't even taken the <laughs> paper out because I, oh my goodness, I even have this thing. Anyways, I do love this bag. I think it's a nice tote bag, shopping bag. If you're really skinny and petite, then you can wear it this way but because of the shape of it i don't think this is going to be comfortable it's going to be keep sliding down so this handbag either you hold it up like hands or cook up your arm i thought i would wear this when i travel but then when the time came to travel i was thinking this this is screaming dior like way too much i didn't want that attention when i travel because i don't want to become like be a target to those people and then i never get to really wear it because it's quite big and it is kind of boxy it's not something that folds or becomes smaller and this is actually even size small it's not even medium but it's a new small size so it's supposed to be small right but it's not that small actually i still do like certain bags having logo but this handbag even though it is not like a flashy color it's just navy but i i see it, it's so loud i thought the mini was too tiny when it came out but then i think it's gonna fit quite a lot it's got dark navy blue mixed with beige color very very nice quite soft actually have never worn it but i took pictures before you know posting on instagram because it is very attractive handbag and a lot of people love it's sad to say because i've been now more getting into dior so i do love dior handbag but i'll choose the dior lady dior like a thousand percent over this handbag because the loudness it's like so flashy you know i don't really see myself getting the same size book toe in the future ever actually even it doesn't have logo everywhere i mean you're gonna get a lot of attention wearing this handbag but i don't want to be the target like i was talking about traveling i'll never wear this handbag seriously it's pretty though picture friendly yes for sure lovely picture you can take but also i have lv suitcase right like lots of lv and the dior i don't think they look great also if you're looking for canvas tote bag highly recommend the price is amazing the quality is exceptional and i love longchamp very very classy and i just love that horsey i'm gonna link to the same tote bag down below if you've been wanting canvas just like that dior tote bag and you want low-key not as expensive this is the way to go highly recommend easy to wipe off and just lightweight easy to carry around let's talk about this handbag oh my voice is now getting worse guys let me talk quick Dauphine one of timeless and classic lines that now LV has Dauphine bag love the reverse monogram on the bottom here and having the classic original monogram it's really nice combination I love the trim also here leather treated so you don't have to worry about patina or dirtying you can just easily wipe it off it is nice handbag overall and it has quite a bit of leather going on so the price is above three thousand this is nice <laughs> you're like why you didn't wear it never wear it it's quite boxy guys i talked about it in that collection video i believe this handbag i 
wish I went with my gut, <laughs> like smaller size. Now they have West is the one like longer style. I think the size wise, so much better for my frame and my lifestyle. If I'm wearing this type of uh, monogram handbag from LV and canvas, I'll choose the smaller size. I mean, this handbag is easy to open and close. Easy access, very nice and open, quite wide. You can see everything. Now you can see how I store it. And this handbag has never been used, never been out <laughs> with me outside. It's just um, too big as having that monogram for my liking. I know that's not, that's a lie. <laughs> I have the hobo, right? That big of the tote bag. That bag, even though it has that monogram everywhere, somehow looks more classy. I know, this is like so weird. I want to wear it, but then I choose something else that has no monogram. And another weird thing about it, it's not that big of the size difference when you compare it to Pusha Matisse next to it, but I'll choose this over this handbag and you would say why i'm like me too i'm like thinking why to me this handbag looks more feminine having that more of envelope shape of the flap and also that s lock holding it with the top right here the design of it, it just compromised so so well just overall the whole look of it i love the look of this handbag so much more than the dauphin if you like more of sharp ends and also you like the vintage look of this plaque, you might love this style or design of the bag. And then why did I get this? Of course, I was excited to get or be the first one getting the Dauphine. It was brand new handbag at that time. And I remember Julini was there at LV. And she was very excited to introduce this brand new timeless classic LV is bringing out at that time and I wanted to get one but I should have not gone with right and I even have the same Dauphine backpack which I love so it's not an issue of the look wear it this way right most of the time I like to either go with crossbody or holding it like tote bag style if I want to wear this size monogram bag i choose push and matisse i know even though i haven't really worn push and matisse for some times i mean when once i fade down wearing monogram or logo -y bags i think i stopped wearing logo -y bag in general but this from the time i got just i've never been that attracted or interested in wearing it so it is really, really bad, like bad owner. This handbag is beautiful and vintage looking. Very special bag from LV. LVMH, his daughter's name is Dolphine. And that's where the name is coming after. I never even wore it once. And some of you mentioned about this start to curl. Because the middle part here is heavier and it has more to it. So once you put it down, these two sections like tend to look like wing out but actually it's not really like curled up because i like kept looking at it after some of you mentioning like that handbag would do that the magnet in the front is very very strong but at the same time it opens up easily because this section is sticking down quite long it's not something that it's hard to like find it or hard to open so open easily and the magnet is very very strong so it would stay put it's rather secure bag also and comes with two different ways that you can wear and you can use this long chain attached to other handbags and wear it as well and this one as well so it is nicely made and Nice design, but just maybe not my style. This will be smaller than 
Chanel Jumbo Classic Flap. So if you're looking for that style and you like monogram, reverse monogram is the way to go, guys. I love reverse monogram because no vachetta, no space to worry about. <laughs> this handbag never been worn. And if I could choose, I will definitely go with West East. I thought of getting the mini, but that was quite small, actually. I tried to put my big size phone like oh it's just i always go with the large size pro that's why i need a bit of space yeah that's the dolphin cdc bracelet from hermes i have these two oh guys i think i wore these in one of my videos I don't know which one it was, but I think I was pregnant and I wore it with this black outfit. I've had these both for many years, but I never really wore them outside of the house. Okay, first place, why did I purchase and why did I get them? Let me say, the first time I thought of getting was looking at sales associates, like sales woman at Hermes it looks really chic on them wearing black uniform the outfit right and pop this on and most of them have nice scarf like managers mostly wear these I've seen pretty much every Hermes store I've been to and these like click clacks you guys remember I started buying, brought them here. I thought these were so big, like too chunky. So I started with smaller size like these. And after collecting some of them, like the colors I normally like, and I started going with the thicker style. So then once I kind of messed her, like, oh, okay, the thick style I do wear. Then I went with, bam, <laughs> like the thick one. And at first when I bought them, I thought I'd wear them like all black or all white or something like she. I now realize you cannot just force your style to change just like that. When I see others wearing different look that I don't normally do, I get really drawn to and very attractive because they look different but they look so nice. I love the way how they can plow and wear that chic look. But then on me, it just does not match. These are something that's outside of my comfort zone and personally, I think it looks better if you have long arms and skinny style body like models i mean of course anything right looks good but if you have longer look at this i mean it looks so chunky it looks like i'm gonna go to jail <laughs> i mean type of look right i'm like what were you thinking karen's why did you buy them i mean way more expensive than this type of bracelets from hermes oh my goodness this looks really like too much already rose gold with white and this is croc the pink so pretty i just hope one day wish to get croc birkin with the pink color or black even and this is with the palladium hardware this combination is quite often you can see at her mess for their bracelets it's really nice. I thought I could get the same combination of bags in the future, but do I wear? Uh-oh, no. Never, ever. If you wear something super chic, just, you know, like, I, it just, I am not that tight. I try, yes. <laughs> At least I try, right? I even like tiny little jewelry. <laughs> then what was I thinking? to get this type of big and thick accessory that I even know myself, I don't even wear like that. Look at this, how big and bulky that looks. It just does not match me, right? 
I mean, this is not me. You could try something new when the new trend comes, right? I'm open to that. Like two things, maybe I'll try out if looks not too intimidating, right? But then this is just something that you have to have certain style that you know how to wear you know what you're doing when i imagine it looks really nice these actually have not been used for many years now after i started getting two more fine jewelries yeah some of you keep asking like what am i gonna do with these because they are made really well if you're interested to get hermes click clacks and like their bracelets Hermes in general, everything, the quality, I stand for. If you're interested, I do recommend for you to try and get the color that you wear the most. Because you're comfortable with it, you're gonna wear more. They do wear really well and long lasting as well. Not just metal only, but when you get the yellow gold, it has the 18 karat gold plated. After having for so many years, they don't really tarnish, but the color sometimes change and you can rub it off because so if you haven't watched that jewelry collection video, I'll have it up right here and link it below so you can check them out, how I clean them. Easy to maintain, it's really nice, but oh, these, I'm like, why? <laughs> why 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 i don't really wear them so that's the one i highly regret like highly like deeply regret that i got them and never ever even worn worms outside because it's just not me like why do i have to try so hard to change for now i don't see myself wearing for 20 more years if you have owned and you know the style like you know how to wear them please you can buy from me you can email me oh my goodness these from hermes i've had these so many years of course i don't remember how long i have never worn the white color those are the dust <laughs> actually i should have had the size up but at that time I remember still now, they didn't have the size. When I saw these and I tried them on, even though it was a bit tight fitting, I thought after wearing sometimes it would stretch out, but I don't think you should just imagine they will stretch out. You just have to feel comfortable right then when you try them on. Because most of the time when you try at the store, first of all, you're excited. so you want to buy them or you want to have them so you would kind of trick yourself oh they're comfortable or so if you like the look of it so that's the first thing you have to try to avoid not to just go for and second a lot of times i myself also think my feet are swollen from walking to come to the store maybe they feel tighter right now because my feet are bigger right now but that's also not true when i do that i regret so bad when i come back home because you are going to walk anyways and actually that's not your swollen feet but they are the true size of the like condition of your feet you will walk anyways it's not just uh that time only but the way how your feet are right then, it's going to be how your normal time because we don't always just not walk, right? So you have to be comfortable right then in the store. Sometimes I'll think, oh, these are a bit loose, but well, it may work out. I could put something inside if it's too big later on thousand percent i regret later on i should have gotten a smaller size when i tried these at the store they were tight and i thought they're gonna loosen up and get comfortable but never became comfortable because i couldn't wear them because they're too tight i brought these to just compare as the colorway is really similar just different type of shoes but how interesting is that the exact color I mean, there's some black going on the bottom here and white color on the top the similar color of pink like pop of color pink and also the middle color there blue is almost like exactly the same right interesting i think the combination of those colors go really well that's why 
different brands went with the same color theme but these from Chanel I love still very 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 comfortable like I have no regret no complaint whatsoever that these are just too tight so again and again I'm telling you you have to be comfortable right then I mean you could wear them out to break in but something like when it's tight it's tight <laughs> you have to size up this I had to size up but I just didn't I just wanted it right then and see 36 and a half it's not even my size I wear 37 so these are 37 oh, carries no patience these are very popular at Hermes still now and became more popular nowadays get the right size guys Ta-da! Ta -da -da -da! Fendi Peekaboo I see you the newer design and this micro it's like a charm you can hang it on your back especially peekaboo it looks nice but also it comes with this chain strap that you can wear crossbody it's really nice and you can have this as a handbag as you can put still things inside wear a crossbody again you can hang it hook on your handbag to wear it as a charm back charm so i thought i was getting a good deal to use different ways as getting one thing but then did i ever end up wearing it no it's just too tiny for me to just carry around like what I'm gonna put in here at that time I was thinking oh yeah I can wear it crossbody and you know it can become a back charm and it's just so cute and I love peekaboo da 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 and when this was like newly released man I had to think a lot about which color to go with but then this was like last one and when you hear that last one you're like oh I want it right anyways I ended up getting it is really cute and made well and inside quite a bit of space you can put credit cards and the cash and also you can pop your keys key fob also go in but then because it is tight fitting it's just not easy access especially having that little buckle here for the peekaboo look for you to just close it's in the way whenever you put something inside one time i tried it like i was gonna wear it and i pop everything inside and i was like "Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo, i could maybe wear it but then i changed to something else when it's small tiny smaller the goods the pop of color the better which I love but not the color normally I would go with it's like orangey-ish like red color it's pretty it is very very pretty and this coming with it's also very pretty you can shorten the length it was just uh, the moment of spark like oh love it so cute I want it so I got it but it's just been sitting mm -hmm. there and when i want to wear or try it i'm like oh i need a little bit of space like more space then i end up going with something a bit bigger than this then i never get to wear it the price that i paid for this charm it was not so much but above 1000 i love fendi and peekaboo I'm a fan I love 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 so after having this not wearing at all I was thinking oh, it is a waste I should have just used that money toward getting a proper pickup bag another color that I don't own I would have worn like a lot of times I already see myself because I love peekaboo in general but this size it looks good idea right like different ways you can wear and it's so cute very tempting right but then mm -mm. and after like having it I wish I got neutral color 
they had and I could choose. But then I went with this, just thinking, oh, tiny pop of color, the better. I should have just not gotten it just to think, oh, it's uh, just convenient. I could use it more than one way. I kept telling myself, oh, it's gonna be good. You're gonna wear it. And at that time, it was like booming, like tiny little micro bag. I mean, I'm so glad I didn't get the Lady Dior. I thought of even getting the micro. I mean, still I get tempted when I go to stores. So cute. I get really stuck into something really cute. So I get it. But ta-da, this I recently got. If you haven't checked that video out, new in uh, YouTube My Wardrobe. This has been just so, so good. It's mini size, but it fits so much. And I've been just loving it, taking it everywhere already. It's not even spring yet, but I've been loving it. I get so many compliments. People just love it. It's so, so cute. And this is what I'm talking about now. It doesn't really matter how expensive the handbags or anything could be. It has to elevate your look and it's just, yeah, that's, that's all about it, isn't it? It's not just about brands or name after, but whatever you have, it has to boost up your look and enhance your outfit, right? Otherwise, no point for you to spend whatever. You could spend like 10000 on something, but if it doesn't elevate your look, it doesn't look good on you. Anyways, a big regret, but... This one, even though it is not so expensive, like, oh my goodness, loving it so much. Very cute, whatever you wear, it just matches really well. And it fits so much. Not like this. This cost like above 1000 and this was like, what, 200 Already wore this so many times. It, not long ago I got it, but this I've had, yes, definitely over a year or is it two years? I don't remember even, but never even worn once. Not worth it, right? Okay, next. <sighs> Hermes. This I got from Paris. I remember it. I was excited. First Picatin from Hermes I got. I never wore... <sighs> I love the size so much more. It is my size. It's not like mini. They do have mini, but this is like, uh, kind of, I would say small. This is more medium size or like large, but this size just fits me so well. And this handbag holds quite a lot. It's a bucket bag, just, yeah, can I imagine how much can go in here? I love this size so much more. And also I love this type of color, pink. I love the pink. And gold color, I wear already a few times. But this, black, oh my goodness. I have never worn, even once. This is the one with the croc handle on top, matte finish. It's really nice, but... Mm -mm. Never even carry it once outside. This Rodeo has been hanging here from the day first because I got it together at the uh, Paris flagship store. Yeah, after I got this, I realized the size does not work and also black, especially this style of it. For me, I've talked about before, but it looks like just plastic bag. You know, the black color plastic bag. I know it's really bad to say. Sorry to those who love black color and have this exact handbag also. I mean, but it is my own opinion from having it. Uh, it's just not really attractive. Maybe if you have that really chic style, that you can pull out maybe this will look amazing on you i don't doubt like it is a really nice handbag and made well as well it's from our mess love it but it is just not for me i still have it yes because i'm just that lazy about selling selling process guys it takes a lot longer than 
um, you just think, oh, I'm gonna buy it. Maybe if I don't like it, I'll sell it later on. That topic I'm gonna have to talk about in one of another video because this video is already long right now. But yeah, uh, learning still, yes. Anyways, this handbag, mm -hmm, it's lovely. And I'm after getting black color Birkin or Kelly as I do love the style of Birkin, but not Picatin. It just does, it's not just, it's just for me, I mean, it has to give me joy, right? And spark whenever I wear it. Like this handbag, I get so excited. Like, oh, just so cute. I'm like all over it. Not just because I just got it. Something like this, you should keep and have, but something that doesn't give you much like excitement even though i've had other bags for many years i still get very excited like loy bay like puzzle bag i've had for many years but still i get like happy and excited to wear it because it's something that i love and it works for me okay last thing to talk about scarves the silk scarf that i got I thought of wearing this as the top actually in Hawaii. I forgot to bring it, first of all. And I just have never had a chance to wear this gorgeous, gorgeous scarf that I got from Hermes. And I should wear it, right? But I'm mean, like, keep saying one day, but I never were. And this is maybe the latest purchase out of everything that I feature in this video. See, when I was at the store, I was like, I thought of wearing like silk scarf with just crisp, clean, white button up shirt with this type and have the red lipstick on and have that CDC, you know, the bracelet. I imagine like that, but then when the real life comes, I don't really do that because just not my style but then when i see other people wearing like that i get really attracted like oh that looks so nice super chic and ah oh, like professional looking i love it but then it's just just not my look you know i don't know maybe one day <laughs> i always say right but then i love cashmere and just something that's more neat style uh whereas the silk maybe silk just looks more formal for my lifestyle that's maybe why i don't do that but then when i go with cashmere mixed with silk like hermes this one you guys remember i wore so much like i had to stop wearing so then i wanted to find something similar to you know switch out at our mess, but then things are quite loud, louder than like that pastel style because I find myself wearing pastel a lot. And this has more color to it. So after I got this, I thought I'd wear, but then I never wore it. And then I got this one also. It has a lot of orange. So I thought it's a little different than the one here. I love pink. That's why a lot of, I mean, these are all like pink shade, right? Just different style. But these two, I, not even once, never wore both of them. Also this one, but I wore this a whole bunch because it is mild and pastel -y. It kind of blends in with just whatever I wear and the easy goes really well with everything pretty much when I'm cold and I just want something light scarf to have on my neck it just looks perfect maybe that's why I like this one also pastel -y. it's got just you know bold black color here and there but still very neutral so that's why I love these and wear them a lot this is really nice right I hope I'll wear it <laughs> um yeah just letting you know what i have never worn in this video and i hope you guys enjoyed and hope this was helpful somehow right for you to think oh i wanted to show you guys <laughs> like all over the place like 
as usual, right? If you like, I talked about this before. If you want Picatin and you cannot get it from Hermes, and if you're really after like bucket style handbag, this bag actually is very, very nice. Um, my friend June, she even asked me what I think of it after I feature in one of the videos I mentioned and uh, she wanted to know privately if I really do recommend. I do highly recommend. The price is so good. It is made with leather and the style is quite similar. As you can see, it is the bucket bag. Not exact same style, but both come with four feet on the bottom. And this, since the color is so neutral, oh my goodness, I have been just taking it pretty much everywhere. Especially, I've been really loving low key and discreet, really simple, like non branding type of handbag. And I'm not gonna show you what's inside because it's quite dirty. I have a lot of snack in here for kids. But this handbag also comes with this long, like kind of Lindy from Hermes type of mixture here. So you could pop it on your shoulder, but also I sometimes wear a crossbody when I have to have my hands like completely free. I mean, it doesn't look as attractive, I think, but I just pop it like this. I'm like, oh guys, let's go, my, my kids. That's what I do. Anyways, I do recommend this if you've been wanting similar look as the Picatin here and you cannot get it. And of course, Picatin has its own like beauty to it, right? And it's from a mess. So nothing you can compare, but again, saying this is really nice alternative and also lower price point, but it has that nice quality look and the feel. I'm gonna link to the same one below in the description box so you can check it out. It's the medium size, it's a newer upgraded style. The older model, they still have I believe, but I recommend you to get the newer style because just bit of things are different, but it's more convenient for you to use. And they come with bigger size and smaller, even mini size. But I think medium is perfect every day. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see if I can pop link to like everything that I feature in this video if they're available online. If you're interested, check down below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.